Greetings from Tokyo, my dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I hope you are all doing very, very well. So, with this, I would like to conclude the viewer poll by talking to you about the remaining titles that received one vote each. So continuing with the poll, this is Spine 926, Manila in the Claws of Light. Next, this is Spine 873. This is a box set, and the box set is called Martin Scorsese's World Cinema Project Number 2. So once again, I received a vote for this entire box set. So this is Martin Scorsese's World Cinema Project number two. Next, Spine 999. The film is Mate One. Next is Spine 943. The title of this film is Memories of Underdevelopment. Next is spine number 111. The title is Mon Oncle. And I've taken this film Mon Oncle from the set called The Complete Jacques Tati. So once again, the film is Mon Oncle. Next, spine 107. The title of this film is Mona Lisa. Next, Spine 61. This is Monty Python's Life of Brian. Next is Spine 863. The name of this film is Multiple Maniacs. Next is Spine 732. The title is my Darling Clementine. Next is Spine 178. The title is My Life as a Dog. Next is Spine 521. The name is Mystery Train. Next, Spine 220. The title is Naked Lunch. Next is a Criterion Laserdisc. This is Laserdisc number 31. The name of this film is A Night at the Opera. Next is Spine 401. This is Night on Earth. Next, Spine 754. The title of this film is Odd Man Out. Next, this is Spine 255. The name of this film is Opening Night. I have taken this film from the set, which is called John Cassavetti's Five Films. So once again, the film is Opening Night. Next is Spine 126. The name of this film is Ordet. And I've taken the film Ordet from the set, which is the Carl Theodor Dreyer set. So once again, the film is Ordet. Next, this is Spine 610. The title is The Organizer. Next, Spine 870. This is Othello. 
Next, this is Spine 564. The name of this film is Pale Flower. Next is a title that, as of this recording, has not yet been released by Criterion. It has been made available elsewhere, but not by Criterion. Not yet, anyway. When it will be made available, it will be under Spine 1018. The title of the film is Paris is Burning. Next, Spine 58. This is Peeping Tom. Next, Spine 809. The title of this film is Phoenix. Next is Spine number 894. This is The Piano Teacher. Next, Spine 224. The name of this film is Pick Up on South Street. Next is a box set. This is at Spine 471. Pigs, Pimps, and Prostitutes. Three films by Shohei Imamura. Next is a Laserdisc. This is Laserdisc number 341. The title of this film is Pink Flamingos. Next, Spine 85. This is Pygmalion. Next, Spine 162. The title of this film is Rat Catcher. Next, Spine 709. The name of this film is Red River. Next, Spine 483. The title is Repulsion. Next, Spine number 23. The title is Robocop. Next, Spine 108. This is The Rock. Next, this is Spine 497. The title is Rome Open City, which is taken from the set called Roberto Rossellini's War Trilogy. So once again, the film is Rome Open City. Next, Spine 621. This is the film Rosetta. Next, Spine 132. The name of this film is The Ruling Class. Next, this is a set which includes the films with spine numbers 14, 15, and 16. The name of this set is called The Samurai Trilogy. Next, this is spine number 53. The name of this film is Sanjuro. Next, spine number 712. The title is Scanners. Next, spine 576. This is Secret Sunshine. Next, this is a film that, as of now, is available on the Criterion channel. The name of this film is Secrets and Lies. Next is a Criterion Laserdisc with Laserdisc number 298 on the spine. This is Seven. Next, this is the film called 
Shadows in Paradise. This film, Shadows in Paradise, is taken from Eclipse Series Number 12, Aki Kurzmaki's Proletariat Trilogy. So once again, the film is Shadows in Paradise. Next, this is Spine 961. The name of this film is Shame. Next is Spine 933. The title is Shanghai Express. Shanghai Express is taken from the set called Dietrich and von Sternberg in Hollywood. So once again, the film is Shanghai Express. Next, this is Spine 734. The name of the film is The Shooting. This particular release includes The Shooting and Ride in the Whirlwind. So once again, the film is The Shooting. Next, Spine number 20. Sid and Nancy. Next, this is spine number 460. The name of this film is Simon of the Desert. Next is a Criterion Laserdisc. This is at Laserdisc number 52. The title is Singing in the Rain. Next, this is spy number 941. The title of the film is Smithereens. Next, this is Spine 850. The name of this film is Something Wild from 1961. Next, this is Spine 563. The name of this film is Something Wild. This is from 1986. Next, spine number 105. The title is Spartacus. Next, spine number 845. The title is The Squid and the Whale. Next, this is spine number 232. The vote is for this particular release as a whole, which is a story of floating weeds and floating weeds. So once again, I received one vote for this set as a whole, spine 232, a story of floating weeds and floating weeds. So the two films included in this particular release. Next, spy number 118. This is Sullivan's Travels. Next, this is spy number 627. The name of this film is The Game. Next, this is spy number 431. The title of this film is the Thief of Baghdad. Next, spy number 273. This is Thieves Highway. Next, this is a box set which is at spine 392. This is Pitfall, Woman in the Dunes, The Face of Another. Three films by Hiroshi Teshigahara. Next, this is spy number 37. The name of this film is Time Bandits. Next, spy number 670. The name of this film is To Be or Not To Be. Next, spy number 39. This is Tokyo Drifter. 
Next, spy number 738. The title of this film is Tootsie. Next is a Criterion Laserdisc. This is at 325. The name of this film is Train Spotting. Next, spy number 170. This is called Trouble in Paradise. Next, spy number 201. The title of this film is Umberto D. Next, spy number 55. This is the unbearable lightness of being. Next, spy number 677. The title of this film is The Uninvited. Next, spy number 423. The name of this film is Walker. Next, spy number 983. This is the work called War and Peace. Next, spy number 602. The title is The War Room. Next is Eclipse Series 28. This was given a vote as a whole. The name of this Eclipse series is called The Warped World of Koryoshi Kurahara. Next is a Laserdisc. This is Criterion Laserdisc number 72. The title is West Side Story. Next is a box set, which itself does not have a spine number, but it includes three films, each of which is spine numbered. The name of the box set is A Whit Stillman Trilogy. Next, this is another set. The set is at spine number 813. This is Vim Bender's The Road Trilogy. Next is Spine 253. The name of this film is A Woman Under the Influence. This film is taken from the set called John Cassavetti's Five Films. So once again, the film is A Woman Under the Influence. Next, Spine 916. The name of this film is Women in Love. Next, this is Spine 855. The title of this film is Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown. And Spine 570. The name of this film is Sazi dans le métro. My friends, that completes the results of the viewer poll. I am very grateful for you for sticking around to the very end, my friends. Thank you very much for your time and your patience as always. I appreciate it very deeply. What do you think? Do you find the viewer poll list interesting? Maybe not so interesting? Please let me know in the comments section below what you think. I, as always, love to hear your thoughts about this and many other things. So if you would, um, if you have the time, I would love to hear what it is you have to say. And once again, I want to just say thank you very much from the bottom of my heart, really, for your participation and enthusiasm and patience with me. This is the first time I have 
conducted something like this, and there, I think there might have been a couple of mistakes, maybe more than a couple, that I might have made along the way, about which, if you notice maybe that some of your votes were not counted, maybe there was something that you had listed but I didn't mention here, please let me know in the comment section below and I will uh, see what happened. Again, I didn't make any omissions, so anything that I might have omitted by accident was purely by accident and a mistake on my part. So um, if that occurred, I really have to apologize. Just let me know and I will see what happened and see what's up with that. But uh, as far as I can tell, I did my very best in trying to keep track of everyone's vote and everyone's entries and try to tally them as best as I could. So uh, hopefully no one was left out that uh, otherwise participated. So, uh, but sometimes uh, mistakes can happen. Uh, I am a human after all, so I would um, I would appreciate it if you do notice a little error or something. Just let me know, and I I'll see what was up with that. So, uh, but hopefully, no one's votes were missed, and everyone was counted, and uh, things are. Uh, the way they are. So uh, once again, my friends, if you have any thoughts about this or any other uh, aspect of the viewer poll, please feel free to let me know in the comments section below. As always, your input is very valuable to me and I read all of the comments and so and I respond to uh, all the comments as best as I am able to. So uh, please feel free to leave a comment anytime. And if you are a first time commenter, uh, just let me know and I will certainly give your comment uh, the due care and attention that it deserves. So uh, with that, my friends, thank you once again for your time, your energy, your uh, uh, just uh, uh, s strength and your uh, encouragement as always, not just of me, but encouraging others, encouraging your friends, encouraging the people around you, commenting to the comments, and uh, just uh, letting other people know how much you appreciate them and how much we all appreciate them. And uh, for that, I appreciate you, and I appreciate all of your hard work and efforts as always. Uh, they certainly give me much food for thought and they give me much enthusiasm and much reason to uh, want to keep going forward with this YouTube channel. So uh, I want to thank you very much my dear dear friends for as always providing me and providing everyone else here and those around you with a, a great deal of encouragement and support. On behalf of everyone I would like to say thank you and I really appreciate it. So with that, my friends, thank you, and until we meet again, please be happy and healthy and well, and please keep on watching a lot of great, great movies. Take good care of yourselves, be well, and cheers.